Hi everyone, Matt from Nelly Security here, and today we'll be unboxing the new 4 megapixel PTZ from Uniview, the IPC6424 SRX25VF. First, I'll be walking you through how to set up and install your PTZ. After that, we're gonna hop on the web interface and I'll go through setting up intelligent events with you. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out the overview video we made for this PTZ. In that video, we showcase the sleek design and go over the amazing specs and features of the camera. The link will be in the description below. Okay, let's jump into it. So, we have our PTZ right here. It's a pretty big box. Let's open this up. So right off the bat, we have our 12 volt power supply. Then we have this little baggie here. It has the quick start guide. Mm, there you go. Then we have our weatherproof grommet here. And then we have two hex wrenches for installing your PTZ or getting into the back of it. Um, I'll show you that later. So we have this mounting adapter. This mounting adapter is going to be used to screw into our mount and then hang our PTZ from this. So this is very handy. Next up, we have the PTZ itself. And here it is. Wow. So right here we have this 360 degree pan and then we have this 90 degree to negative 15 degree tilt right here. Really nice. And then right here, we have the IR window that allows this PTZ to have 330 feet of IR range, which really comes in handy at night. And then in the back here, we have this place where we're gonna unscrew these screws right here. And then we can actually get to the internal storage which is a micro SD card slot. All we're gonna do is put in our micro SD card. And then there you go, you have internal storage. Let's take this thing off actually. All right. So there's a place right there that you'll put a micro SD card in for internal storage. Let's take a look at our pigtail here. We have a ethernet connector this is for power and also connecting to the network. Then we have right here, this is gonna be your 12 volt DC connection right there. Right here we have a BNC connection and that would be for connecting to a spot monitor if you wanna do that. So if you wanna hardwire to a PTZ remote control, you have this little set of wires here. This is gonna be your RS485 connection. Then we have a audio in and out. And then finally we have an alarm in and out right here. So that is the pigtail. So now that we just unboxed the PTZ, let's go ahead and install the PTZ. Okay, to install your PTZ, you're gonna want your mounting adapter, your mount, and then a hex wrench. So with this hex wrench, you're going to loosen these hex screws. And the reason for that is because at the top of the PTZ, we have these two screws. And those two screws go through right here. We will twist the PTZ onto the mounting adapter. When twisted, the PTZ will be stopped by this screw. Then we will tighten the hex screws to fully secure the PTZ. Okay, let's screw the adapter to the mount. Go ahead and loosen these screws on the mount. Tighten them back up. Now the adapter is secure on the mount. Let's go ahead and put the PTZ on the mount. Clip the carabiner into the hole for security while setting your PTZ. Power over ethernet is the easiest way to power up the PTZ. This PTZ has a power consumption of 22 watts, so you'll need a PoE switch that supports PoE+. Plus. So let's connect that. So now that we have all the cables in, we're going to Put the PTZ into the mount. We're going to twist it until it hits that screw. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten the hex screws. Now that everything is secure and installed, let's go ahead and jump on the web interface and see what we can see through this PTZ. And here we go. 
This is the web interface. On the top right hand corner, we have the live view PTZ controls. Here you can pan, you can tilt alongside a speed slider. Here we could zoom in and zoom out and also control focus. Right here, we can call and delete presets and patrols. Down here at the plus button, we can add presets and patrols. We can also control where the PTZ moves by where you click on the screen with your mouse. So if you want to pan slowly, click closer to the screen. If you want to pan fast, click on the edge of the screen, just like that. So right now we're seeing this 360 degree pan. That is really nice. Awesome. So this camera also has a 90 degree tilt to negative 15 degrees. So let me show you that. There you go. Not just at zero degrees, but you get to look up. So that's pretty cool. Let me show you this amazing zoom. So this camera has a 25 times zoom factor. So there's a lot of zooming that this camera can do. So right now we are at 120 millimeters and then let's go out to 4.8 millimeters like that. So 4.8 to 120 millimeters. That is the zoom factor here. That is pretty, that's a pretty good zoom. So let's go ahead and hop over to setup. So here we could see the basic info. You can see your camera settings right here. We're gonna go to PTZ settings. So at PTZ settings, we, we have some basic settings, okay. Um, here you can put a number of seconds for the PTZ to time out. If it is stuck spinning for whatever reason, you'll be able to put a number of seconds where the PTZ will time out the spinning. So it'll stop spinning after 10 seconds, which is pretty great. Okay, home position. So the home position, you can set a home position for your PTZ. Um, this is where your camera will look at um, after the allotted number of time you want. So let's put the home position to eye chart and then after 10 seconds, it'll go to the eye chart, which is our home position. Let's save live view. Okay, so we're already here. So let's just zoom out and um, we'll look over here. Okay, so after 10 seconds, it should go to our home position, which is eye chart. And there you go. The eye chart is our home position, so it will go there after 10 seconds, which is pretty sweet. So you can set patrols and presets for your PTZ. I have two presets. One is the speaker. And then I have the eye chart as another one. Patrol is practically a number of presets that you cycle through. So it is patrolling through your presets. So let's go back to setup here. So we have that, that is the home position. Let's hit that to none, then save. Okay, so limit. What the limit does is it limits where your PTZ will be able to go. So let's say you wanna cut off a side of the room for the PTZ not to be able to turn to and look at for whatever reason, you can actually set that. So here's remote control. This is where you set up your PTZ to your remote control. You can connect it. Okay, orientation. So with orientation, you'll be able to set where north is for your camera. And then you can also set different positions. So you can have building south um, as one position, anything, anything you want. Um, but you just say go north and then it'll go to where you set north at. Okay. So that is the PTZ settings. Let's hop over to intelligent events. So this is the intelligent events. There's a lot for this camera. We're gonna go through a few of them here. So let's start off with cross line. Let's hit settings. We're gonna turn that on. So to make a 
line and we're gonna hit the plus button here. Then we could drag this line wherever we want the line at. So right now we have it set to anything that crosses a line will be detected, but you can put it to where anything on the B side crosses over to the A side, then it will be detected. But we'll put it to just anything that crosses the line will be detected. This PTZ has a deep learning AI, so it'll be able to differentiate motor vehicles, non-motor vehicles, and pedestrians. So I'm a pedestrian, there's no cars in here. So we're gonna set this and then I'm gonna walk past it. You're gonna see, it'll recognize that I'm a pedestrian and you'll see a box around me. So here I go, I'm gonna walk. Okay, all right, cool, awesome. That is cross line. Let's hop over to face detection. Let me show you that. So let's go to settings here. So face detection, it will be able to recognize a human being and be able to record them. You can actually mask off areas here. So anything that comes through this door, the camera will uh, have face detection for. So let's set that. Okay, so let's go to live view. I'm gonna walk through the door and then the camera will recognize my face. So you'll see that. And that is face detection. So let's turn that off. Let's look at auto tracking. Auto tracking is pretty sweet. So this camera has auto tracking. Um, it will be able to, with the deep learning AI, differentiate motor vehicles, you know, non-motor vehicles, people. So it's actually pretty cool because it will be able to track, if you have it set to tracking people, it'll only auto track people. Um, it tracks the object that you choose. So we can have it to pedestrian because I will walk through and you'll be able to see me being tracked. So here we go. So that is pretty cool. That is auto tracking. If you're wondering, this camera can auto zoom also. So if you have it set to auto zooming, it will auto zoom whenever the camera needs to. But you can also set that to just having the current zoom where it doesn't change. But yeah, that is auto tracking. So other smart events here, we have people flow counting. And pretty much what that is, is you can set up a line um, and maybe wherever your camera is at, if it's at a, uh, a parking lot, for example, uh, this camera will be able to count how many people cross the line or enter the area. So anyone who's walking towards the building, it will count that. If you have it set to leaving the building, it will count that also. So that's pretty sweet. So then we have crowd density monitoring um, that will allow you to track how many people are in an area. So as you can see, there's a lot of intelligent events for this camera. So there will probably be a lot of ways that this camera will be able to fit your needs. So that's all we have. If you found this video helpful at all, go ahead and leave a like down below, leave some comments, ask some questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.